Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile, and we're looking at the Motorola Droid Pro for Verizon. It's an Android phone with a full touchscreen and QWERTY keyboard aimed at the uh, corporate users. We're going to go on a quick software tour, but we're not going to dive too deep into it because it's Android 2.2 with Motorola UI. There's not much new to it if you've seen the Droid X or the Droid 2, but there are a few things I want to point out. Droid. So their UI is not Moto Blur, which can be found on things like the Click, but it has some similar features and widgets in particular. I've already pre-populated this device with my, I've already signed in with my Google account, which means that it brings my apps and my calendars and my emails on there. It's actually a pretty painless process, which is one thing I love about Android. So here you have the apps. As you can see, you have seven home screens. It's a little bit of lag right now just because it's just turning on, but with a one gigahertz processor in there, I found it, it moves pretty pretty well. Oh, it's a Verizon phone, so you have Skype Mobile pre-populated on there. And let's look at the widgets. You have Motorola's news widget. You just put your RSS feed in there and then you can swing through swipe through your news stories and then if you want more there you go going back to the home screen this is a managed sim app that comes on this doesn't come on the droid x because there is no sim this is a world phone so you can make calls in over 220 countries so you might need to use that if you're traveling vpn client to log into your secure networks and quick office also comes preloaded uh, register later and that was good uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was the camera 5 megapixel camera uses decent takes decent pictures but I'm not in love with this UI as you can see it's a QWERTY device and so you want to hold it in landscape and so you take pictures like that turn out fine but the UI of the camera wants you to, wants to be held this way but then you have to take pictures like that. Okay, that's it's not horrible, but it's not a great experience. And you can use the volume rocker to go back and forth. You can remap the side button to take pictures, which is what you know most people would do, I would think. And that's pretty easy to do. Dive into settings, applications, quick launch. You can also set up a variety of keyboard shortcuts, which is pretty nice. So, now that's the camera button, but you still can't use the button to take pictures. So, you have to hold it like that and take pictures. Not my favorite thing in the world. Other than that, standard Android browser. WebKit, good stuff. Froyo has uh, improved JavaScript support and just overall speediness improvements over previous versions. Wish it was 2.3, but hey, I'll take what I can get right now. Cool site, like it. And then finally, let's do a quick benchmark to see. Let's go NeoCore. One gigahertz processor, pretty smooth. Haven't really had any problems with it beyond the lag you saw at the direct loadup. Oops, that's not what I wanted.
74.6 frames per second. Not too shabby. Well, that's the Motorola Droid Software Tour. Thanks for watching, and we'll have a full review shortly.